talk that Hillary Clinton supporters may call for a floor vote at the convention. Do you think this indicates that there's some work to be done still on the healing process? How do you feel that's going? Well, it, uh, you know, I spoke to Senator Clinton this week. Uh, she's campaigning for me in Nevada uh, and Florida. Uh, she is very enthusiastic about the need for a unified party. I think we're going to have a terrific convention. Uh, as is true in all conventions, uh, we're still working out the mechanics uh, of the four days. And our staffs are in communication with Senator Clinton's staffs, but I don't anticipate any problems. Senator, you just talked about your message this week, energy policy. Are you concerned at all that your campaign was thrown off message, that it didn't get through some of the other distractions this week, that you were playing for defense and all defense at all? Uh, can you give me a specific example, Jill? Paris Hilton, John well, that was, that was that was, that was that was the previous week. No, the ad this week from Paris Hilton, the response ad, the tire gauges. Oh, well, the fact that John McCain and the fact that John McCain and, and Paris Hilton are uh, engaged in a uh, spat, uh, I don't think is uh, of a prominent concern for the American people. I think they want some real solutions to their problems, not 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 uh, chattering uh, between those two. Uh, and in terms of the tire gauge issue, I think that was. Uh, and is a illuminating issue. Uh, you've got uh, a number one, John McCain, uh, pretending that uh, that was some centerpiece of my policy as opposed to a response to a town hall meeting. So he had a misleading uh, ad, which everybody knows was misleading. Uh, then it turns out that John McCain himself said, actually, inflating your tires is a smart thing to do as did President Bush, as did the AAA, uh, as did NASCAR. Uh, and so I thought it was a good example of uh, the fact that uh, the other side's not serious about uh, real energy savings that can push down the price of gas. They're interested in scoring political points. Uh, and, um, and as long as we're speaking truthfully about what we need to do to meet our challenges, uh, then I'm not, I'll, I'll let you guys worry about uh, the politics of it. Senator, um, when you see a guy like Evan Bayh, do you have to resist the urge to sort of, yeah, give him a hard time? You know, like last time I saw you, you were endorsing Brand X. Or, I mean, do, do you just, does that stuff just roll over the, the, the heads of the politicians? Yeah, look, look the, uh, I mean, uh, primaries are primaries. And, you know, we all have, um, relationships that uh, date back years that we've got to make decisions about uh, uh, you know, how we're going to approach uh, endorsements and campaigning for colleagues. Once those primaries are over, we're absolutely unified. And you know, uh, Evan, uh, uh, dis uh, despite his support of Hillary, I think was always very gracious towards me uh, during that period. Uh, and uh, you know, I thought has been a class act uh, throughout this election process, and he's been working very hard on our behalf ever since the primary is finished. Um, Senator, I'll just talk about you and Senator Clinton. Uh, there seems to be a, a, a thought that maybe Bill Clinton hasn't embraced the fact that you're the, the, going to be the nominee. Do you get that sense as well? Or have well you uh, you know, I spoke to uh, President Clinton this week. Uh, he's been very supportive. I thought he showed extraordinary restraint uh, in a fairly provocative interview uh, while he was on his trip. Uh, I, I, I couldn't ask uh, uh, for him to be any more gracious than he's been uh, and supportive uh, since the campaign uh, ended. Regarding the convention, do you think that it would be cathartic to have Senator Clinton's name entered in nomination and that would contribute to unity in the last two stages of the campaign? You know, I, 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 I'm letting our, our respective teams work out the details. I, uh, you know, I, I don't think uh, we're looking for catharsis. I think what we're looking for is uh, energy and excitement uh, about the prospects of changing this country and, and I think that People who supported a whole range of different candidates during the primary are going to come out of that uh, convention feeling absolutely determined that we've got to take the White House back. So you would. Why hasn't it been settled yet? I mean, there's so much controversy. Is it why hasn't it been settled by your team? 
Sutherland. I, there hasn't been controversy other than uh, what, what you guys are projecting right now. Sutherland, I, all I can tell you is we're not talking to those people. We're talking directly to the Clinton campaign uh, uh, people and uh, the, the folks who on, are on her staff, and it has gone seamlessly. It just hasn't been a problem. So you would not object to having her? I didn't, I didn't say that. I said that they're working it out, guys. How hard can it be, yes or no? Get her name in or not? How hard can it be, yes or no? What, I don't understand. What do you mean? I, just because I'm not answering your question doesn't mean that it's hard. It's getting worked out by our, our staffs. There was a piece survey out yesterday that said 48% of the public is suffering from Obama fatigue. Do you, think, do you think that it's possible to be overexposed when you're running for president? Is that even a concern? Well, uh, you know, we are going to correct that this week, uh, hopefully with your help. So entire week of press coverage to John McCain at this point? And are you going to go surfing at Sandy's? Well, uh, you know, I, uh, look, I, I'm, I'm going to see my grandma, who I haven't seen in uh, almost 18, 19 months. And, you know, who's getting to the age where I want to make sure that I'm spending time with her on a consistent basis, uh, and so that she can see her great-grandchildren. Uh, and I want to spend some time with those children as well. So it's... You know, we had a long, and this goes to actually Maria's question as well, we had a very long primary. We had the longest primary in history. Uh, and so I can imagine that folks need a break from politics, and they didn't really get one like they normally did. Uh, John McCain got one, but I think that you know, the, the majority of people uh, have been fed a constant you know, stream of uh, you know, political chatter. Uh, and I'm sure that having a couple weeks off and enjoying the Olympics is probably what the doctor ordered for everybody. All right? Thank you, guys.